Hello and welcome to another video tutorial about physical education methodology. In this video, we are aiming the logic technical teaching model, placing the discus throw as an example. This model was developed by Valerian Conde in 2003, and it's used as an alternative method to teach athletics disciplines by modified games in order to increase the student's joy. A logic technical session consists of the following steps or stages. A preliminary stage, specific activities, global activities and the final stage. Let's go deeper. The first stage is known as global presentation and proposals for challenges. At this stage, the teacher asks the students several questions related to the discipline to check their knowledge. Either if the students already know the discipline or not, the teacher then describes it his own way to ensure that everyone acquires his or her knowledge. The next step to take is to demonstrate how to perform the movement the teacher wants the students to learn through a visual example. At this step, the movement's phases should be concretely described and performed slowly so that every student understands the whole movement. As we can see here, this instructor shows all these phases one by one and ensures that the students caught up with it. The last step of this stage is to ask the students a challenging question. This question must be discovered by the students along the session while they are performing the movements. In this example, the question was What's the last finger that touches the discus? The answer must not be given. The second stage is known as logic technical proposals. At this stage, the teacher puts forward a few activities that develop specific movements of the whole action. Therefore, these activities are modified games that progressively involve technical rules so that the students can focus only one movement phase first and then add other phases to execute the whole movement. This can be carried out putting forward as much activities as the phases the movement has, that usually are 4 or 5 movements. It is highly important to give specific feedback to as much students as we can in order to let them know whether they are performing well or not. Meanwhile, the teacher must control the class progress and change the activity either to a harder one or to an easier one depending on the success of the students. This means that we may prepare a large amount of activities in case. As we can see here, the students usually work in pairs or in groups at this stage which is essential to achieve that the students enjoy our activities. Nonetheless, they will work individually at the next stage. The third stage is called Global Proposals and it consists of a final activity which is the whole movement performance. This activity is adapted to the students in order to make it easier and increase the joy as it's composed by all the previous activities. All the students are given global feedback instead of specific, since there is no performance seeking. The teacher must give a visual example of the overall movement and the students then attempt to execute it. The last stage is known as reflection and plenary session. At this stage, the teacher checks whether the students remember all the movement phases and discusses with his pupils if they like the activities and if any change should be made. The teacher checks out whether the students know the answer to the challenging question as well and solves any other questions that could have arisen during the activities. Here finishes this video tutorial. For more information, please visit the channel. We hope you have enjoyed this video, and we look forward for your visit. Farewell!